What is going on everybody? Yvonne here. Now let's get real. You don't need a massive team to run a successful agency. Whether you guys are a project manager, copywriter, or a consultant, there are so many different ways to run a lean and profitable agency utilizing Go High Level. And what makes it possible are going to be all the automations that are going to be behind it. So simply put, High Level is an all-in-one platform that combines the CRM and the marketing aspect side of things. And pretty much any other feature you can think of when it comes to running a business online, ranging from doing your guys' marketing to keeping a track of your guys' customers to doing SMS and email campaigns, you can do all within one platform. So in this guide, we're going to walk you guys through on how to utilize high level to run a profitable and lean agency. Because honestly, with the technology nowadays, you can make your own work look like the work of five. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now I am going to be sharing my screen here. So if you guys do want to follow along or even try out the platform for yourself, feel free to check out the link down in the description for a free trial of the platform. Now, once you guys click on the link, it's pretty straightforward. All you got to do is just press this little button and it's going to give you guys access to 14 day free trial. From there, you're going to put the name of your guys' company or business. So in this case, I'll just make a test company. Go ahead and put your guys' full name. So in my case, it's Yvonne Morzenko, your guys' email address, as well as your phone number. So let's go ahead and go to step two here. From there, you'll go ahead and select a plan that you guys want, either the starter or the unlimited. And the only time I would go the unlimited route is if you guys are a marketing agency that's doing marketing and managing marketing efforts for other companies. However, if you're not doing it, I would just go ahead and stick with a starter. Go ahead and insert your guys' credit card information as that's going to be used after the trial is over. However, do not worry because if you do cancel before those 14 days, you guys are not going to get charged. Then go ahead and consent to these three little boxes right over here and you guys are going to be ready to rock. And once you guys go through all of that, this is how your initial user interface is going to look like. Now before we start, and I'm not sure where you guys are currently in your guys' agency brainstorming phase. However, we first need to pick our niche because to stand out as an agency, having clarity is going to be key. So what do you guys know? Are you guys a fitness coach? Are you guys into real estate or copywriting? What is going to be your special sauce here. That's going to be really important to establish because if you don't have that down, it's going to be really hard to succeed. And after we figure that out, what is going to make you guys special? And the reason I'm asking that, and I'll use a marketing agency as an example, is just because there's so many other marketing agencies out there that all promise the same thing. They promise leads at no cost and just like infinite return for their business without any upfront money. So in the sea of all the noises, what is going to be your unique pitch to the businesses in order for them to sign up with you? But because guess what? People do not like being sold to and especially if it's bad. So if you guys cannot explain what value you provide, you guys are going to be out the window. Now, when it comes to utilizing high level, here's how I think about it. So right over here, we have the agency dashboard and essentially what an agency dashboard means, this is going to be a place that if you are managing any type of marketing for other businesses, this is where you're going to see all their information. So from here, we can actually prospect when it comes to our agency, we can see their own sub accounts and see all the results and see how it's doing on their end. However, if you guys have your own business and you're not doing any type of digital marketing for other businesses. So click right over here where it says switch and go ahead and click on a specific sub account because now you're going to unlock a lot more features because now once we go to the dashboard, this is going to be the actual dashboard for our business. So we can actually see all of our opportunities, all the values, all the conversion rates, the funnels, distributions, the lead reports, to see where they're all at and where are we getting them from, how our ads are doing, so on and so forth. And of course, you can go ahead and modify all of this. Now, if you're a solopreneur, first, we need to get your marketing down, right? Because we need to make sure that we have customers coming into the door. So if I was in your guys' shoes, I'll go to the marketing option right over here. And I would go ahead and double down on pretty much every single channel that you guys can go ahead and use. So we have all the different social medias here. We can do email campaigns. We can run our snippets. We can go ahead and have our affiliate manager or ad manager or even content AI by publishing content. There's so many different ways we can go ahead and get people in the door. Because if you guys have your landing pages, we have our website, we have our email marketing campaigns, you never know where customers are going to come from. So we might as well use all of them. And if we go to the sites right over here, this is where we're able to create your guys' funnels, websites, stores, landing pages, and kind of see all the analytics and reports behind what is working and what is not. Because what's the point of us putting all this effort into these different channels without knowing what is working versus what is not? So if I was in your guys' shoes and I was just starting out my agency, I would honestly just try out all of them and see what sticks. However, if you don't have experience with any of the social channels, I'll go ahead and try out all of them, see which one sticks, and then double down on the one that actually works. And the way that you can figure out which one is working versus which one is not, you can actually go to the reporting tab right over here. And of course, these are going to be dummy reports, so they're not real, but you can go ahead and customize them to your guys' business. And that way, you can go ahead and cross-reference your guys' landing pages, your ads, your social media, and see which one is getting the most customers into the door. You can also do the exact same thing on your guys' funnels or even on your dashboard 
dashboard. So if we go back to our dashboard here, we can see exactly what our funnel is made out of. And if we scroll down, we can actually also see where our leads are coming from. And what's cool about high level is that it acts as a CRM. So you can go ahead and pull in all the contacts that you're working with into the platform. And from there, what I would personally do is I'll go ahead and organize them into specific lists. So for example, let's say I'm a real estate coach. Your pitch of getting into real estate is probably going to be not the same if you guys are reaching out to lawyers compared to doctors. And that's where I would put those smart lists to use because every single time you guys are reaching out, I would make sure that those emails are coming off as genuine, personalized, and tailored to that individual. And if someone does respond to you, you can go ahead and create an opportunity and later put it into a specific pipeline. And that way, everything stays nice and organized. Because trust me, there's going to be a huge difference when it comes to a new lead versus contacted, qualified, proposal sent, and negotiation. And you're not going to treat all the deals the same. We're going to put a lot more emphasis on the deals that are going to be in this stage right over here when it comes to negotiation and proposal send compared to the deals that are going to be in the earlier stages like new lead or contacted. And as you guys get to these final stages here, like proposal sent, negotiation, or even deal closed, you can always collect the payments instead of high level as well. So if we go to payments right over here, you guys can send out invoices, estimates, documents, contracts, or even orders all within one platform. So I'm hoping you guys are seeing what I'm getting at. Literally, you can collect payments, run your CRM efforts and marketing all within one platform. And if you guys have an agency, you can also manage it for your guys' customers. And as you guys scale and get bigger, automations is what really makes this platform special. So if we go to the automations tab right over here on the left hand side, click on create workflow. Let's go ahead and select one from a recipe. Now essentially what a workflow is, is going to be a series of if then statements. So if something happens, then X, Y, and Z is going to follow. So for example, so if someone opened up an email, they can get another email and they get an SMS and then you guys get to get tasked to call them, right? So on and so forth. And let's say someone interacts with your guys' social media posts with the word guide. Boom. From there, something can automatically occur on your guys' behalf. And trust me, I know if you guys only have like one or three clients, it's pretty easy to manage with. However, as you guys scale, it's going to be a lot tougher. So let's check out these workflows and there's going to be a lot of them. So they range. So there's going to be all the different types of them. So there's going to be this Instagram comment automation that I was just hinting at. There's going to be the Facebook comment automation. There's going to be the email drip sequence that I was talking about. There's going to be the FAQ auto reply. There's going to be one when an appointment booking happens or even a no show nurture. So let's go ahead and check out the no show nurture on what happens if someone doesn't show up to our call. Let's go ahead and select it and boom, as you guys see, it's pretty straightforward. So from there, that initial trigger and that trigger is always needed is whenever someone doesn't show up. So that initial trigger is if something happens. And then from there, there's gonna be a series of events that's gonna occur. So first, we're gonna go ahead and reschedule a follow-up link. We're gonna go ahead and send it to them. And this is gonna be an email that's gonna go out. And as you guys see within the message, everything is gonna be personalized to them. So their first name, the actual calendar link, and that way, every single time an email goes out, it's going to be specific to them. And you guys don't need to manually do it every single time. So then it's going to send an SMS. So it's like checking in with a text message. It's going to wait a day. Then it's going to send another SMS. And then boom, that's going to be the end of the sequence. However, if you guys do want to add more steps or triggers, right, it kind of works like branching logic here. All you need to do is just press the plus button here. And there's going to be a lot of different actions you can do here. So we can scroll all the way down. There's a ton of different things. So I would go ahead and mess with this to see what is possible. But essentially everything that a platform can do, you can also automate. And if you guys are confused, we do have other videos on the channel that explain workflows, but you can also utilize the workflow AI here where you can tell the system in plain English on what you guys are hoping to achieve and it's going to build it out for you. And as you guys scale, and honestly, these automations is what's going to allow you guys to stay lean and not hire too many people. So I would really look into those because you guys can literally set up a workflow for every single part of you guys' business, all the way from direct outreach to marketing, to operations, to customer support, right? To even collecting payments. So I would really play around with these workflows because as a solo entrepreneur, this can save you guys a lot of headache and a lot of time. And eventually you can always hire a team whenever you guys are ready. And there you folks have it. As you guys saw that with the right tools, you guys can go ahead and deliver high impact services while completely automating the back end of your guys' business. With high level, you can centralize all of your guys' business processes under one roof and that way nothing slips through the cracks. And as I mentioned before, if you do want to try out the platform for yourself, there is going to be a link down below in the description. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time. Peace.